Hello everybody, and I am back with another How to Build today. Um, last time, we were down there doing the um, medieval house. Uh, it's a little bit far away, and we're quite high up this time, but um, hopefully, with this time, we're going to try and rebuild this for you guys. Uh, this is what I was doing earlier. I basically had to do a, a rough version first that I could do the second version next to it here. You're going to have to bear with me through this, guys. I'm going to try my hardest to... Uh, make it as well as I can or as correct to this one as I can anyway I'm gonna build next to it and um, yeah this is a dwarven statue he's got a nice little axe he's got his boots on a little plinth and um, you guys said that you wanted to build wanted me to uh, build the dwarf statue that I've got in Erebor but I thought I would start off by doing something a little bit different so this one's standing up instead of the other one was uh, kneeling down and he had the axe across like that this one's standing up and He's in his armor and he's got his lovely beard. <laughs> but uh, hopefully, we will try and recreate this again today for you guys. So, this is how we're going to start. We're going to come down here. I'm going to try and do it as, as much as I can without going back and forth. But if I have to go back to this one to check some blocks and then go back to this one, you have to just bear with me through it. I'll try my hardest not to, but <laughs> I'm not a robot. <laughs> So let's start with getting some of these blocks. We got some stairs, we got some slabs, and we got some chiseled stone. Um, this is a little plinth bit that we're going to start by, and it's a 15 by 15. So let's bring it out to where should we go? Let's start in the corner, so we know we've got enough room. Start about there, I think. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. In fact, actually, yeah, we have to move one forward. Just so that it does fit. Right, uh, we'll do it to, to there. That'll be fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen across here. Then fifteen across here. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and then just link it up with the other side here. Now, um, originally, I was, I was actually, I got halfway through building the, uh, the original dwarven one over there. I got halfway through building. I was like, oh, maybe I should just make this into a, uh, into a. A let's build because I haven't done one uh, done one of those in a little while. So I thought maybe be, uh, be e not necessarily easier, but better to do that. But I thought I would try and help explain and show you guys how I do mine anyway, my dwarven statue. So this is why I'm attempting this again today. But um, so you got chisel stands there, and we're gonna do upside down stairs here. Uh, we're gonna do one, two, three, four. Four. No, yeah, yeah, that's right. I think it's three. Three upside down um, slabs. Then we'll do the stairs on the corner here. And we can match it over there. So one, two, three. Uh, yeah, actually do four on each side. And then we can do some upside down stairs here as well. And that is pretty much going to be all the way around the same. So one, two, three, four. Upside down stairs. Three of them. One, two, three, four. And then some upside down stairs around the corner. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this is just to give it a little bit more detail rather than just having it... I could have just given it a square normal platform, but I thought I would do at least a little bit of detail in the platform. It's not necessarily uh, not really necessary considering we've got a massive dwarf on top of it, but um, we'll see how it goes anyway. So, one, two, three, four, and that's that done. Now, what we can do is if I just get some uh, stone brick we can it might take a little while <laughs> but we can fill all of this area in we don't need to do the underground bit really because we've got it on peaceful so mobs won't spawn but obviously if you can do this on survival then you might want to because otherwise you have a bit of a ruckus underneath the dwarf statue so just build this in all the way now, hopefully, this won't take too long. I might have to split this up into parts. We'll see. Depending, actually, I probably, I probably will have to because last time I, uh, when I did this earlier, it took around just over an hour to build, and 
I don't think I'd be able to upload a video with that kind of a uh, with my internet at the moment, especially that size anyway. So that is done like so. Now time to get started on the door. So the blocks that I've used is on the the, uh, the the main materials I've used is basically the diorite or however you pronounce that diorite and andesite. These are the new blocks that are in Minecraft 1.8, and I thought I'd give them a try. This is with the texture pack on as well. I've got uh, chroma hills. I put it in the uh, uh, description of the video so you guys can check it out as well. Um, so that's why they look like this, and I thought they were just on nice, di several different shades of grey, so I thought I would, um, use them for you guys. So, let's get started then, shall we? Right. This is... I'll get rid of these, actually. We don't need these at the moment. Bring these over. And we can go... Starts there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Across. One, two, three... One, two, three, four, five, six, and then just three at the front there, like so. And then we can actually copy it on the same side here, so where is that? It's about there. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, and then finish that off like that. Okay, we'll bring this up by another layer to, to there. And actually, we bring it up two more over here as well. And these ones can go up by another two, so. Oh, not these ones, sorry. Just these bits here. And at the back here, you can see over there we've got a little gap. So, what we do is we fill that in like that, and then we can do it like that. So, it comes back out again afterwards. So, this is the boot we're building at the moment, and we do two high there in the center and what we can do here is we can literally just fill that in all the way it's not the best boot but this is minecraft so <laughs> it's the best that i could work with anyway so this is just we're going to do the the top cuff of the boot now so we'll fill this in across like so make it into a bit of a square here and then from here we build this out by one too high so this bit, it doesn't matter about the interior bit, it's just to put the blocks down out here. But we've got two here, two there, and then the same all around it. So one on the corner, and then up like that on the corner, and then like so. And that is the one of the boots done. We'll do the other one now, actually, so we can just make it quite even. So fill this in, fill that in. Um, too high there, too high there, and then we can bring this up like so. Bring it up by one, fill that in, and then bring that out like that as well. So, that's the other main bit of the shoe done as well, and I'll just quickly do the cuffed bit as well. And the reason why I chose these blocks, obviously, is to try them out, because I've never actually used them properly in a build. These, the, the Ansidite and the Diorite, whatever they are. I've never actually used them in a build yet, because every time I've done a, a cinematic or a let's build or a how to build or whatever, it's always been in um, 1.7, so I could use World Edit and um, Camera Studio. I think Camera Studio is up updated now, but that's what I used to use it for anyway. But um, I thought I'd try it out because this is, I didn't re re originally plan on building this giant thing, but it just kind of turned into it eventually. So I thought I would build in 1.8 for you guys. So I'm now using the, I can never tell which one, the ant antidote, whatever it is. So I'll build these up like so. Just fill that in because it's going to get annoying. Um, this goes up by one, two, three blocks high. Uh, we're not going to be showing all three blocks height, but just to make it easier on ourselves, we'll fill it in inside later on. Same on this side. And if you guys never need to go back and re-watch the video, just feel free to, because trust me, I would need to, <laughs> if I were you guys. 
because um, this took me a little while to do myself so if you need that extra minute then please just go back and watch it so on these outside bits we want to bring that up by one more in fact we could just bring all of this leg up because most of this won't be seen because it's going to be covered by the dwarf's armor and that starts here and you can see it kind of drapes down so it uses the diorite and it starts in the center and just kind of hangs over here like so so we've got three there and we've got a three like that i believe three across like that then it goes up by one stays that level stays that level and then the last bit at the very top it goes up by that final peak and we can literally just follow that all the way around, actually. Just to make it easy on ourselves. Up like so. Three across. Two, three. Up higher. And then like that. So that should... All be even. And this is going to go up by three high. So this... It's, it's difficult the way you're going to look at it, but imagine it's just like that. Don't imagine any of these corner bits. Imagine it's just three, three, and three. And what we're going to do is make these three tall now. So these are one tall, so we're going to go up by two more. Two more. And then the same across the sides here as well, as well. As, as well, as well. <laughs> Doubly as well. So all the way around. like so that is the fire the very first bit of his he's got he's kind of wearing a bit of a, a dress really it's, it's like a little bit of a skirt he's got going on um so the next bit we have is it comes out it's pretty much the same as this but it comes out by one more and this time it goes up by four in the center so we'll start by doing the four actually so build this up by four you then do the exact same here so two and then four Bring it the same over this side like so and then it's just along these bits here because it all comes out we're going to do it like that one there one there one there and one there and then these can come up by four and then this last bit can come up one two three four and it's just above like that so it's following the same pattern it's literally just putting the blocks Ne it's like it's difficult to explain but it's next to them if you understand it's not like you're not overlapping what you previously did and it's quite even and nice so then do the same across here and then one more there and then is that right actually yes i think that is i'm already doubting myself so why is this like this that is why. I was getting confused myself there. So we'll bring this up by four. Do the same across here. And get rid of that block because we don't need it. There we go. I was I was getting confused for a minute. I was like, how have I done this wrong uh, already? So like so. Bring that up by one. And then all of these as well. Bring that up by four. And all of them as well. So that is the second tier to the the armor dress, if you would have it. Um, from then, it goes back in again, and it does one, two, three, four, when it's on the inner side as well. But the one thing that's different is this. Well, you know how each time we've gone up by one little bit, that, that bit's always been peaking. This bit is just flat up here. So that's, it'll, it will level out with these ones here this time. So we're going to go back in for once again. And back to the original one here. So you can delete the blocks underneath. And what we can do now, instead of compensating for that, because what I said earlier, we can just match it with these ones here so like so and just build that all the way up like that 
Not too bad, not too bad. Bring these up by four. And these up by four as well. And the one thing I've I've had trouble when I was building the original one was because I really wanted to keep it as statue-like as possible. So I, that's why I've used just... I could use any materials, really, to make it look better, but I just wanted to use just the stony kind of materials. It's all grey. So we've got this the the lighter grey for his armour and everything else, his boots. And then we've used the darker grey stone here for his legs, his hands, his beard and face, just so we can obviously tell and, like, which body parts of which like the hair it does blend in with the face but it if you did the the the, the beard hair the same color as this it would just blend in it would look a bit weird so it's better to just keep it all that same color i actually enjoyed building it all in um the different colored grays it was difficult obviously because there's no not much variation to and you can't really detail it very much but uh you work around it <laughs> So, that is actually the bottom half of it, I'd say, done. We've got to do this little bit of skin on the inside here, you can see. So, let me just use this. We go in one more, and it's literally just along like this, I'm pretty sure. Let me just check. Yeah, it looks like so. So, we just do this. Oh, God. Sorry about that. <laughs> Fingers slipping on the keyboard. And... It should be a cinch to just go around like so. Showing him off a bit of skinny is the dwarf. Like that, and that should, should hopefully, be it. <laughs> um, in fact, actually, I can see what I've done here. You can see the skin bit. There's no cut off bits like here so we'll fill these bits in as well to make it a, con a consistent line if you would so we'll fill those in like that as well cool that's the bottom half of it done that was okay i don't want to say this that was the easiest bit <laughs> this this is when it gets tricky so you have to bear with me as much as possible and we'll get through it so we can go back to using his armor and what we do is we first of all we go three four five across straight across like that and then three up like so we then do the armor across like that i believe yeah oh, i can see we literally just we follow this uh the skin bit around except with the armor this time on the outside level and then we can just go one, two, three, four, five across, three on top. These ones along here. Like so. Okay, this is the next bit. So we go from here. We'll start with the back. The back is a little bit different from the front. So we'll just try our best to try and match it up, I'd say. So we've got like that, we go one, two, three, and I've, I'm going to start off by just doing three across like that. So it goes up by three, except for that bit obviously down there. We'll go up to that level and then we'll continue up from there. So we've got one, two, three. With the front bit. And the next bit goes in by one, I believe. Yeah, that's right. So from here... It goes in like that, and then the back, the armor goes inside itself a little bit here, I believe. And this, hopefully, should make it look like he's got a little bit of a waistline. I'll say a little bit, because most dwarfs don't. <laughs> most of them have got a big gut or whatever. So we'll bring this in as well. Bring it down and we'll just match it with the back as well actually like so that's what is going on here but not copied it around no add one there and then it should go two up and three so one two one two one two build that up as well 
Ah, there we go. Yeah, I was getting confused myself. So, this bit will just blend like... So, okay. Whew, just breathe. We're getting there. <laughs> that is from this section upwards. It then goes up by two along the side here. Well, at least here it does anyway. How many has it got up here? One, two, three, four. So we'll build this up by four. It's already gone one here, so we can build three more on top. Three more there. And from here, uh, this, is gonna be, this is where it gets difficult, I think. So from here, we've got one, two, three, four, and then two more on that outside bit there. So we'll build these up one. I think that's already one, I'm pretty sure. That's one, two, three, four. Yeah. So one, that's the first level. Two, three, four. Do the same on this side. Three, four. And what happens over here? It looks like this goes up by another layer. And it then goes in, I think, actually. Yeah, it goes in one more bit here. So this will flesh with this front bit here. So it goes up to match that. And we'll do the same over here. One more layer up and then flesh with that. So then along the back here, one, two, three, four. So this will line up like that. Yeah. And ah, I see this is where... It goes one, two, three, four, like that. Okay, that's not too bad. So that bring that one up and then four more up like that. And then the back bit, I think this goes up by one, two, three, four. Yeah, to match that. Okay. If you're still following along, I'll be amazed. <laughs> but um, just try and try and follow along as much as you can. If you, Just rewind if you have to because, God, I, I need to. I need to rewind already. So... It's going to be difficult to see because we've got the beard in the way. But underneath this beard is his chest, which we need to like define the chest out a bit. So where does it go to? It goes and then starts coming out here, which I think is where we've already gotten to. So we'll bring this out here. I think by three for now. Yeah, three, and then it'll come by two more. Then one more, and that will go by five, by the looks of it. So two across. I'm going to try and just make the rough shape of his chest at the moment. Two, three, four, five. Like so. So that's made uh, this part here. And we've already, from that, we've managed to do that bit there. So the chest goes around like that. Follows it all the way up around, and I think that's, yeah, that's about it, really. I'll, I'll do the same on this side. Two, and then one, two, three, four, five. Now, I'm just going to copy it exactly from there. So, we've got one there. We're going to go up like that. And down here, we've got one block showing that goes by one, two, three, four down. So, we bring this down by four. One, two, three, four. Um, right, that has to go. Oh, I'm getting confused now. <laughs> oh dear, this is where things get tricky because it's difficult for me to see where I previously built it. So we might have to vary things a little bit. We'll just try out little differences, I think, and see what works. So that will come out like that. And then as for here, let's fill that in. Oh, I see, actually. We can literally just fill that in like that, and we've got that little section there. Or should do, anyway. And then we'll bring this side up by four as well, because I forgot to do that before. Um... So now that should be matching that side as well. We will actually, for the chest, we can just fill all of this in. Because the beard is going to be covering it anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much about it. Like 
so. I think that was how it was, roughly. Okay, let's see what we can work with. So now the next waistline bit goes out by two and then out again. It's kind of difficult to see here because it fleshes with the arm. But uh, let's try our best, shall we? So we'll bring this up by two. Do the same over here. And in fact, that does just go all the straight away up. So we'll bring this up like that just to fill in that gap. Then that's actually, that's not doing too bad. And we've got the back here. The back's going to do a similar kind of thing. They're all going to come out by one pretty much. Like so. In fact, you can just about see here the back comes out. The actual back bit comes out here. And that's where it first starts. We can bring this all the way over and do three across like that and that will become more of the back to make the muscles of the back as well afterwards but it doesn't really matter too much about that again because we're going to be covering up with the hair this is hair by the way i thought i should say I, it looks kind of like maybe like a a cape or a shield but i don't know this is the best you can do with minecraft so <laughs> yeah <laughs> so this bit goes across like that so we've got a nice l there and i've just copied the same over here and we can fill this section in like this. And that's all of it filled up to there. This can then go up by another level and then two more coming out from that. So that we'll build this up like that. And then like that. And the good good thing about me doing this back like this now actually is I can figure out how wide this also needs to go. So it will help when coming to do this tough bit under his arm here like so. So this bit comes up by another four from here, and that is, where is that? That is just here. So four up, and we'll do the same on this side. So one block there, and then four up. And it's then kind of flesh here. So we'll do four next to it, and then we can probably just do that flap straight across. In fact, yeah, we probably can. So I'll do four like that, and then we'll just fill that in. We can do the same. Uh, we don't need to go all the way with that. We'll do the same there, and then fill this in like so. So let's come over here and do the same thing. So fill that in, fill that in, and then just fill all this in for high. Okay, we're getting there slowly but surely. All right. Then, from here, I'm not going to actually do any more of this back bit because we can just copy the hair down. It will cover it up, so it will be okay from there. The only bit I'll add on, actually, is just here. So that's where we finished. Is that where we finished off before? That's there, and we can do one more bit of stone. Just like so. And then from there, it's just the hair. Which we could start now if we want, actually. But I don't know. I might... See if we can finish off the chest, actually. See if we can get somewhere with it anyway. So, I'm just seeing in the distance there. We've gone these four bits here we've done. We need to do a little corner section like that. So, I'll see if we can add that on now. Actually, no, we do have that, don't we? Pretty sure we've already got that. We do. Yes, that's right, we do. So, we can start doing this. It goes three across like that. And then it goes up by one step. And then three backwards. So let's see if we can do that now. So three across like that. Step it up and this will go back by three and it goes along. These are his shoulders actually. So they go out by, how how many do they go back by? One, two, three, and there goes one, two, three, four, five. And it's got to go in one more actually, I think, instead of going out. Yeah, that's right. Oh god, this is so difficult. I keep going back and checking. I'm sorry if it's annoying anyone. But I'll keep doing my best. So we'll bring this out by two. I'm just going along and matching this up now. This can go back by one more. And we can bring his arm here down by three. So come out, down, and then 
down by three, getting blinded by the sun. Uh, this bit can pretty much just come out by one and blend in by the looks of it. Like so. Yeah, that's, that's right. And... Yeah, we'll just come over here and do this across here as well. Like that. Uh, let's copy this, what we've got here, and do it over here as well. So we'll come over here and do three across. Oh, God. And then do it back like that. Bring it in. And then one in the inside. We've then got two... Like this, we go underneath. And then two out along like that. We can then bring this down by three. And if it's the same as the front over there, yeah, we can literally just fill this in by the looks of it. So bring this out as well to finish off this shoulder. Like so. Like so. Okay. This isn't too bad, actually. This is coming along quite nicely. So we've got it actually looks like an armor stand already. If we just get a helmet and just put like sticks coming out of it, it'll look like an armor stand. Yeah.